27-hydroxycholesterol is a metabolism byproduct of cholesterol. It can bind estrogen receptors and act like estrogen activating genes. Does that mean that it should be considered an estrogen? Technically, it is considered to be a CIRM, a selective estrogen receptor modulator. There are a number of these known which are pharmaceutical agents. 27-hydroxycholesterol was the first CIRM known to be produced by the body. It acts like estradiol in some ways, like in promoting cell growth and thus potentially cancer. Estrogen can, say, promote the cell division in breast cells, and so can 27-hydroxycholesterol. But unlike estradiol, um, which protects uh, the endothelial lining of uh, the cardiovascular system, reducing heart disease risk, 27-hydroxycholesterol will do the opposite. So sometimes it acts like estrogen, sometimes it opposes the action of estrogen. How is it possible that a CIRM sometimes acts like estrogen and sometimes doesn't? Well, while the shapes of these molecules are similar enough uh, to bind to the ligand binding region, both estradiol and 27-hydroxycholesterol, apparently they are different enough to then affect how the protein folds. And its folding then determines whether it can react with other molecules called co-activators or co-repressors, many of which are only expressed in certain tissues. And so thus the action of the molecule bound to the estrogen receptor could vary depending on what other molecules are also present. This may be a major aspect to the negative effects of having a high cholesterol level. So high cholesterol levels are associated with damage to the endothelial linings, where macrophages in particular have the enzyme which can change cholesterol into 27-hydroxycholesterol as they start to absorb lipids and create uh, that lipid plaque. High cholesterol levels are associated with increased risk of breast and other cancers. High cholesterol levels are associated with risk of osteoporosis. It may be that uh, a metabolite of cholesterol is binding to estrogen receptors and changing uh, the activity of genes, which then aggravates the disease.